Well, what's up, fellow stud muffins? I used to have a video, I just deleted it, where I actually showed the making of these coon boxes and everything. And it was a very boring video, and it's, uh, and it's kind of a stupid thing to do anyway because the boxes vary so much. Like Yankee states have to have certain features built into theirs that we don't have to, and pretty much anything goes down here. But we're also limited on land in my state to only a 5x5 five five body grip trap. And I don't like any of the 5x5s five five put out by any other company, so I used the Belial 120 which they list as a four and a half by four and a half, but it ten, it's five by five. I've compared it straight to um, Bridgers. In fact, I had some Bridgers, they were identical, except that the uh, Bilal is a higher quality. Now you can tell, mine don't get much use. There's uh, actually cobwebs on this one, and it's been sitting here stored for a long time. I'm not a big body grip guy, especially on land. I used to think that uh, they were pretty cool, and, and they are pretty cool, and you and there's a lot of things that can go wrong with body grips, and um, I'm, a, I'm a foot trap guy because, you know, I can release an animal unharmed from a foot trap. These, not so much. They're, uh, they're either dead or they're hurt real bad. Um, so, you know, and there's, that's the, the purpose is a quick, humane kill. But here, um, the two main animals that you're gonna get in these down here are coons and possums. Possums come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and uh, behaviors. And the real small ones, you know, possums are on their own about the si time they're on the size of a rat. Uh, a small possum can go up in there, eat your bait, and come back out, and never trip it. You will see that in the following video section. A big possum will set it fast. Possums have a long head. If they tip, if the tip, tip of their nose hits the trigger, um, it might actually hit them on the back of the head and not kill them. Whereas a coon is another problem because he might sometimes either grab the body grip's uh, trigger or he'll put his arm up in there beside it and it will eventually kill him, but it's a slower kill. So there's all kinds of things that or can happen with body grips is a little less than perfect. And that's anything in life. Anything you do can go wrong. But you know, it's like, I don't really have uh, cold weather down here. The rest of the country right now is snowed in. Yankees can go three or four days without checking their traps because the critter is dead and frozen. Down here, my critter would be rotten in the morning or have fire ants on it on a lot, in, in certain on some summer day, on some 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 winter days, we'll have a 30 degree night, and then the next day it's 60 degrees, and you know it's it's warm right now. It's raining and warm, so I don't want my animal dead and spoiling. And like I said, I want to I want to be able to release non-target catches um, unharmed. So I'm a foot trap guy, but I have these boxes. I had did a lot of videos comparing boxes that were elevated with boxes that are lower. A lot of people say, hey, put a stick under it and raise it up off the ground. Coons are more likely to go in it. What I found, 50-50. They didn't really care. They picked one box over the other. There was no particular uh, preference for a box that was elevated. That went with cats, that went with possums, that went with coons. And yeah, this will kill the hell out of a cat. You kill a cat faster than anything um, if you can get him to stick his head in there. Getting an animal to stick his head in this is not that easy. They have to be really hungry. Here in the south, there's a lot of food all throughout the winter. You guys up north probably are more fond of these because your animals are starving most of the winter. And, you know, we don't have that down here because there's still there's still frogs and lizards and small snakes and shit out there for the coons and possums to eat. They're, they're everywhere. So it's just different in different areas of the country. Anyway, I've jabbered enough. Um, ooh, let's set that thing up. You go, girl. I've jabbered enough. Y'all sit back and enjoy the footage. Oh, and the last three minutes of it is recycled from the old video that I did. And I hope you don't mind, but nobody, nobody was watching that boring ass shit anyway. You know. So uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.